my research career uh, started before medical school uh, when I was involved in um, looking at the effects of diet on inflammation uh, and has continued most recently uh, in fellowship uh, working on uh, mucosal immunology and immune pathways that are dysregulated in inflammatory bowel disease uh, with the lab of Scott Snapper at Boston Children's Hospital. So we're really interested in kind of the factors that drive inflammation in uh, inflammatory bowel disease. So this is really instrumental for my career. Um, you know, I think that it's a really exciting time to be doing translational research in GI in general. Uh, the world of basic sciences is moving very, very quickly with technological advancements in recent years. Um, and uh, it takes some time uh, to learn uh, and, and catch up with, uh, with those advancements and find myself in a really exciting position where I get to learn and, and leverage those advances uh, while uh, getting a better understanding of the needs of the patients uh, on the clinical end. Uh, and this takes time and it takes the right kind of environment. I'm very fortunate to be in an institution where a lot of this exciting research is happening and have wonderful mentors to guide me through this. Um, but in addition to that, having the, the support of this, of this award uh, really allows me to, to leverage that position, this really exciting opportunity um, to be able to pursue this research. So this gives me the time to uh, continue to learn the lab methods that I'm learning, the computational methods that I'm learning, uh, in order to conduct this research in mucosal immunology and IV. So, had I not received this award, it would have been very challenging to make this transition uh, from fellowship to junior faculty. Um, this is still not a stage where I'm you know, a fully independent researcher. Uh, a lot of the projects I'm working on are really just now beginning to take shape and, and get off the ground. Uh, it's a really exciting time, uh, but, but certainly there's a longer runway needed, and I feel especially uh, in doing translational uh, research and uh, incorporating more basic science work. Uh, and so had I not had this award, I probably would have had to spend a lot more time searching for additional sources of support and funding, uh, and that certainly takes away from time I can spend actually doing this research. So this, this award was instrumental in, in that regard. So I'm, I'm really excited about translational research in GI. I think GI as a field is, is really well poised to do translational research since we're constantly you know, going to our site of, of action, the site of the disease, looking at it, evaluating it endoscopically, taking biopsies. And nowadays our ability to gain information, extract insight from those biopsies is really growing. Uh, with advances in the basic sciences. So I'm, you know, especially in the field of immunology, uh, the field is moving very quickly uh, with new techniques. Uh, and I'm really excited about the ability to deeply profile the immune dysfunction in IBD specifically, but I think this applies to GI conditions more broadly. And I think the insights we'll be gathering in, in the coming years will really be game changing uh, in terms of translating that to, to uh, uh, treatments and prevention for our patients. What inspired me to enter the field of GI uh, is really this connection, the gastrointestinal tract between our biology and the outside environment. The things we're exposed to on a daily basis, the food we're eating, uh, uh, the environmental uh, factors that we're exposed to, uh, uh, all kind of enter our body, um, but are more determined by socioeconomic, cultural factors, societal forces. As soon as they're entering our body and interacting, you know, with the you know the first thing they meet, our GI tract, uh, they become really biological actors, and how those changes uh, in in the environment influence our biology was what really fascinated me even before getting into medicine uh, you know in my undergraduate research years uh, about uh, uh, the GI tract and and that kind of common thread continued through my medical training and gastroenterology training and uh, is, is a common thread in my research today as well. Uh, 
So I, I think there's immense value in having uh, uh, these awards there for uh, you know, early career uh, uh, gastroenterologists like myself uh, to be able to pursue uh, a career in research and be able to uh, uh, get the training necessary and have the protected time needed in order to really develop the skills uh, uh, needed to, to pursue an, a, a research career and, and advance this field forward. Having these uh, uh, awards come from the AGA, which is really a, a unifying organization in, in our discipline and in, in the field of gastroenterology, uh, I find is, is really important as opposed to searching for them through other means. What I'd like to express to, to the donors is, uh, you know, first of all, a heartfelt gratitude and, and it's truly an honor to, to receive this sort of funding. And I think that the changes that uh, uh, can be brought about through this line of research go beyond just the direct implications for uh, the GI conditions that we're treating and the uh, patients within the field of gastroenterology. I think a lot of what we're learning here has implications for the field of medicine in general. Uh, and so I think, you know, by, by uh, um, supporting researchers in this early stage of their career, these kind of crucial years, I think uh, this paves the way for you know, a lot of potential uh, and really impactful work uh, later down the road. Possibly a writer. I, I am fascinated by stories. Uh, and you know, in my day-to-day, -day, you know, that's my patient stories that I love hearing about, uh, as well as the stories of the, the disease that, that is driving and the biology that's driving uh, the issues uh, 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 that we see and, and encounter in the clinic. So you know, that, uh, as those two things kind of impact each other, uh, um, you know, we, we see a lot of different, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, incredibly tragic and sometimes really triumphant stories. Uh, and, and I, you know, I enjoy that even as a physician, but I think if I wasn't seeing it uh, from the physician perspective, I'd love to see it from any other perspective.